So here we look at uh, using trigonometry for distances, especially 10th grade. And this is part 2. And as I said, mostly there are two triangles that are used and just a matter of being able to compare those triangles. So <coughs> this is a 30 degree triangle. So that this is half of an equilateral triangle. Right. But uh, the smaller angle is here. So let's draw it that way. So I have 30 degrees, smaller triangle, smaller side here, smaller angle there. Okay, so this is 30, this is 60. Okay, so this is the 1, 2, root 3. So 2 is not in doubt, that's right here. Right? Uh, root 3 is bigger than 1, so root 3 is here and 1 is here. So 1 to root 3. This is the triangle that I need to compare with. When I have something like this, I have to compare it to the triangle that looks like this. Okay. So what this is telling is, hmm, where 48 is written, root 3 is there, what would be there here? Okay. So here I just divide 48 by root 3. That's it. Because I want 48 here. Yeah, I actually have root 3 here. If, if it was a simpler question in which let's say this was something which was a height and I needed this distance, I would have multiplied by root 3. Right? This is 1, this is root 3, it's root 3 higher. So if I have a distance and I want this, I need to divide by root 3. That's all. So this is 48 divided by root 3. <coughs> So 16 is 16, 3 is a 48. So this is 16 times 3 by root 3. Root 3 will cancel 3 1 time. So 16 times root 3. That will be the result here. So if I look at the next question, here the 60 degrees is here. So this one, it's looking up. Then you have this side. And then you have the shorter side. Now, these two don't correspond, you can see that, but that's okay. <coughs> so, if this is 60 degrees, you can draw it bigger. I'm just drawing it small. But you can draw it bigger, you can draw it much bigger. Let's do that. I'm just leaving space for the calculation. Doesn't matter. Let's draw it a little bigger, right? So, 60 degrees means this angle is more, that angle is less. So, maybe even like this. Okay, so this is 60. And this is the smaller one, 30, smaller angle. Okay, again the same. Hypotenuse is 2, there is no doubt about that. The smaller side is the one opposite 30, which is 1. And the bigger side is opposite this, which is root 3. Okay, so. So again this one now is 75. Okay, you can use this. Right. So first I make everything normalized. So this is 75. This is the one I have. So again in this case I have to do 75 by root 3. That gives me the equivalent of this distance. Yeah. One is the one is the default. And then in, on top of it I actually want the string which is 2. That is a question. So this will give me 75 is of course 25 times 3. So that is it doesn't matter. 2 times 25 times 3 and root 3, like last time, will get cancelled. This will become root 3. So this is 50 root 3. Okay. And then if you have a question like this, it's a combination of the two triangles. Fine. So let's do the smaller triangle, for the 30 degree, 60 degree triangle first. Yeah, you can see it. You can even use the same color, but okay, I'm just going to be, at least to be able to look at that, right? So this is a smaller angle, 30 degrees. We know that the big side is 2, there's no doubt. This is the smaller side, that's 1. And we know this side is 3. This is clear. So comparing this with this, in this case the default 1 is 200. Which means this side is yeah, 200 root 3, that's it, yes. So 200 times root 3. No doubt. And this is that 45 degree angle. Which you, yeah, you can draw it anyway. So, here the distances are the same. You know that it's 45 degrees. So, that's 1. That's 1. And this 
diagonal is root 2. In this case, the diagonal is not needed because what they want anyway doesn't matter. We will write all of them. So, this is 1, 1, root 2. This is 45. That's also 45. So anyway, the height is 200 means this side, this horizontal side from here to here is 200 also. So the sum of these two is basically 200 into 1, now this is root 3 plus 1. So if you need exact distances, you put 1.7, uh, uh, it's not exact, but yeah, if you need in, in decimal, then you get the closest approximation to root 3, which was 1.732. So you get this is 2.73 or something like that times 200. Since it's 200, it's 273 times 2, which is doable. 6, 14, so 546 meters. So, okay, and if you wanted more accuracy, then you use to 1.732 and then you will get one more. 0.4 okay so this is how you work with the uh, approximation you of course multiply uh, 1.732 you multiply and uh, if you need to get exact distances in meters so the principle is simple uh, you see a 30 degree or a 60 degree you draw the 1 2 root 3 triangle uh, and you basically compare and uh, if you you need to basically find what is one then everything you can find from it so if you have actually found that this is the side they have given you are divided by root 3 yeah uh, you have to find what is one if this is the side you have given you are divided by root 3 and what do you need in this case you need the biggest side so you have to multiply by 2 so basically bring it down to the one yeah? so here uh, in the other kind of question again same thing in this side if you have 1 1 root 2 you find out what is unit what is equivalent unit once you get to whatever is an equivalent unit, you can find the rest.